Welcome, today I'm going to show you how to use custom sliders in Madden 26. It's pretty easy actually. All you got to do is go to the creation center and the download center. From here you can select the category that you want to download. Uh, we're going to be looking for sliders and uh, of course we're going to be looking for uh, specific sliders. Mine. <laughs> so we're going to be looking for that. You can search by username. Um, which is probably the easiest if you want to look for a specific user. If you want to search by keywords, you can do that as well. And then all you got to do is just select it, download, and um, yeah, it's going to download the files. There we go. Kaboom. Um, I will be showing you what these sliders do in detail. Um, but first, basically, uh, now you have loaded the sliders into the, uh, into the game. You've downloaded them, now you go to edit settings, then you have to move over to the player skill and CPU skill sliders, and here you can load a file. You just pick the file and yeah, that's it. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna show you um, if I were to um, basically put them all to the base settings, you load the file and then kaboom, you will see the differences uh, or not. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Let's try that again. Ah, there we go. Here we are. <laughs> now it worked. Two times the charm, I reckon. The base thought here was to make uh, the quarterback accuracy a little bit slower. I uh, already did this on Madden 22, 23, 24, 25. It just makes it a little bit more realistic. So the uh, accuracy is lowered. Pass blocking is uh, enhanced a little bit just to kind of compensate for this wide receiver catching is also amped up a little bit to give you just a little bit more realism because the catching part I think is something that's uh, that just needs a little bit of a boost whereas the accuracy can take a little bit of a dip otherwise it's just too monotonous um, and now on the rushing side we have run blocking enhanced a little bit uh, to 53 ball security at 51 to make sure that the ball doesn't pop out because that just happens very very often pass defense 49 reaction time just slightly nudged it down ever so lightly interceptions at 15 interceptions shouldn't happen on a 50 50 percent basis so i did nudge that down to 15 to give you more realistic uh, interception numbers overall in pass coverage is 51 again just uh, support that stat a little bit tackling is at 51 to make it more impactful and then we've got field goal power field goal accuracy it's basically all the same thought process power has been amped up and accuracy has been reduced to make it harder because kicking a ball hard is not hard kicking it accurately that is harder punt power same thing punt accuracy same thing kick of power same thing basically on the cpu side of things uh, you will see that it's a little bit um compensated in certain areas so what i did do is i nudged down the qb accuracy a little bit to 47 but the thought process is exactly the same we've got pass blocking oh lord i had to sneeze there and pause hope that isn't too jarring now pass blocking is at 51 wide receiver catching is at 51 as well um again to make the cpu potent it I didn't dump it down completely, I just nudged it a little bit down to make, again, results should be more realistic. Um, when you compare, uh, ball security is higher while run blocking is a little bit lower compared to the player's skill, again, to get realistic numbers and also have challenge, that's, that's what I want to deliver to you. Um, reaction time 51, um, I nudged it in the opposite direction just to give uh, the player a little bit more of a chance. This is for all Madden, of course, so uh, you need all the help you, you can get. Uh, interceptions at 10%. Again, at 15, I got, still got very high numbers at 10%. Numbers are more realistic. Pass coverage, 51. Uh, tacklings at 49. It's just a little bit below the midpoint without making too much of a jarring uh, change here. And the thought process for the kicking and accuracy is basically the same. The numbers are almost the same. Accuracy it has put down has been put down to 47, whereas the player skill is 48. And here it's the same thing. All you need to do is you you, you pick the file, press square, then you uh, select your file that you downloaded beforehand, and then you just load the file, and kaboom, you're in. What you can do, by the way, if you find 
the uh, QB accuracy to be too difficult um, for you, then you could just change this, put it wherever you want to put it. And uh, when you're happy, then you just press R3 um, and save your skill sliders. You can also overwrite. It's always a possibility. Um, but if you want to reload, then of course that uh, that setting is gone. So save them as your own. And uh, uploading is also pretty easy. And uh, yeah, that's basically how you download custom sliders. These are the uh, Madden Soul sliders that I will be using in uh, the Madden Soul series. So in case you're interested to try that out. These are the sliders. Um, and once you've loaded them, it doesn't matter what you start, uh, be it a quick play or a franchise, um, then uh, then these sliders will apply. I don't think they apply in online mode or in ultimate team. I think that's just a little bit differently, but I don't know these uh, game modes too well. I only play offline franchise. So there's that. I hope that helped. If not, just uh, pop your question down below in the uh, comments. I'll try to answer that as best I can. Enjoy Madden. And uh, yeah, let's go. Thanks for watching. See you next time.